Hi, this is Solomon of uh, Fundibots. I'm here with Lynn's Craig from Spark Fun. Hey. And uh, we just started the journey to the Gulu Robotics Electronics Camp um, workshop training. We're very excited because uh, this is the first uh, training that we're doing in the North. It's going to be two weeks of awesome fun electronics. We're going to be teaching these kids how to program, how to work with electronics, how to solder stuff, how to work with processing. Lindsay is bringing all the experience he's had with Spark Fun, and we are very excited to have him here. Yeah, please tell me that's enough. My name is Solomon King. I started up an organization called Fundibot. What we do is we help bring a lot of what you're studying in your in your high school, a lot of what you're studying in physics. We put them into practice. We teach, we teach them how to make um, electronics components, how to bring together circuit board, circuit board, and how to create different machines that can interact with the world. My name is Lindsey Craig. I'm from Sparkfront Electronics. We'll be learning about robotics, how to make motors, things like maybe a motorized uh, sugar cane splitter, or tools to help blind people navigate the world. You guys are going to be learning the basics, but there is no roof. We talked to the entire school, and now what we're doing is we're looking through all of our inventory, we're, we're checking out various books. I'm actually going to teach these guys processing, and a little bit of Bluetooth, and Arduino and tablet combination uh, technology. So that while we're not teaching that at this workshop, uh, they're going to be able to teach that at future workshops, as well as just expand the amount of knowledge that they have uh, under their belt. Everything that we are doing here can be put together by students. Uh, this little you know, this machine you see here was put together by Victor. Uh, Victor has also built a phone charger. But this is a robot. So that's the robot brain right there. It's a very small computer. This is eight times as powerful as the uh, as the computer that first sent man to the moon. You're basically solving problems in a way that has likely never been solved before. Okay? So we want to see how you can connect yourself without creating a short circuit. So you remember what we said yesterday about commands? You remember? Yeah. When your teacher gives you a command to do something, it's giving you instructions which you have to follow to do. So all that you say it's a special type of command which says if you do something, then something else will happen. So computers love commands like that because then they are waiting for something to happen so that they can do something. Something I'm not even seeing, it's all in my life. But within an hour, 